Hey, it's Eric here at Peachtree Classic Cars. I've got a 1952 Willys wagon. I gotta get moving. It's got a lot of traffic going here. This is a really fun uh, Willys, and I wish I could keep it. It is already got the V8 in it. It's got a 350 V8. It's got an automatic transmission. It starts easy. It uh, shifts with the transmission gears through smoothly. It uh, steers nice and easy. But it's got some rust on the frame, and I don't have. It. I just don't have time to tackle it. So I might call this a welder special. If you or your friend is a welder. Yeah, I think a weekend in the in the in the shop, you'd have the truck ready to drive. Unfortunately, I am not a welder, and all my friends who are welders wouldn't be able to even get to it, this job for six months or so. It's just everybody around here is so busy. So I really hate to see this one go because it's such a great deal. Um, even for what I'm selling it for, I have a hard time going back out and buying it back. So, engine sounds fantastic. It's a really nice exhaust sound. It's not overbearing. You could, you could just hear while I was driving down the road. Now I'll hold the camera with one hand and open it up the hood with the other hand. That's it's just that easy. Nice, really strong, easy running. 350 VA. It's got a power brake booster on the brakes. They stop really good. It's got a 4-4 aluminum Griffin radiator. Doesn't overheat. I mean, the engine runs great, the transmission shifts perfect, the exhaust sounds good, the brakes work great. It does not have power steering. So in really tight spots, it's a little tight, it's a little tough. But then when you, uh, as soon as you get start to rolling, you know, it's just got bigger than factory style tires on it. So it's got these nice uh, new American racing wheels. It's got newer tires on it with good tread. The body on this vehicle is very straight. There's just got a couple of little imperfections. A couple of little spots there where somebody hit that with a grinder. The body's actually very straight. And for the most part, I'll say 99% rust free. only cracked glass on the whole piece right there which is actually an inexpensive fix that flat glass you can get it done for about 40 bucks the front windshield looks like it was replaced not long ago it's got new weather stripping in fact it, uh, it looks like somebody may have painted it with the old weather stripping on said hey well let's just paint it and then we'll put new glass and weather stripping in the problem is the old weather stripping was a little bit fatter than the new one and it's showing the yellow through looks like it used to be a school kind of almost like a school bus yellow Got electric fan, never seen it overheat. I do have a little bit of a weak battery, it's part of the reason why I'm leaving it running. I have uh, not driven this truck in a couple of weeks. Just had a new gas tank put in it. It's got the original gauges and stuff. I don't think any of them are hooked up though. Heater, I'm not sure. Can't remember if the heater. Yeah, the heater does work. Oh geez, I don't want to get rid of this thing. <laughs> Oh man, everything. Light switch, I'm not sure. I see it blinking when I mess with it, but I don't know what that those that turns on. I know when you pull the light switch, the lights work. Actually, pretty comfy bucket seats. These are aftermarket seats, obviously, out of a different vehicle. They're very comfortable. In fact, I think that one even scoots forward and backward with the handle there. It's fairly quiet compared to the other one, especially. I've got an all original one and of course it's just a weather stripping thing with the other one it's a little bit rattly this one's a little quieter there we go. 
This one's got newer weather stripping. I mean, new weather stripping around the windows. Brought the little jump box just in case. Carpet in the back. Some padding. And actually, underneath that, you'll notice that's the original wood. It's actually pretty quiet back here. It's even got a headliner in it. Little latch here you pull. I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off because it will be a lot easier to hear. I wanna be able to get underneath and show you what's wrong with it. And the reason why the, it's the reason why it's not a much more expensive vehicle or quite frankly, it's the reason why I'm not keeping it because I just don't have time for it. So we're gonna go up underneath and I'll show you. Like I said now, the thing that's weird about this too is that the, this is the original body and if you look at it, I mean, there's no rust. There's one little tiny hole there. The bottoms of the doors, there's a little spot there. The bottoms of the doors are solid. The frame is looks good to here. And then when you get back to this point right here, someone has done a little bit of an amateur job trying to reinforce it. And as we go up the frame, you'll see some various spots. What it really just needs, is it needs some weld work. If you look at the original floor pans under here, they are solid. So it's just one of these like fluke. This is a Kentucky, this is a Kentucky Willys. And a lot of times what happens with these is they get some mud or dirt. Now there is some floor pan rot right there. That'd be a very easy repair. <clears throat> A lot of times what happens they get mud and dirt compacted up in the in the especially back in the 50s when you know this truck was being used for what it meant to be used for and uh it would get mud compacted up in the frame so this is a brand new tank we just installed it i had a fuel cell in it and i hated it it was ugly i wanted it to go back like i said i was thinking about keeping this vehicle so i started you know putting it together but again so there's your floor pans underneath S10 rear end, I believe, is what that is. Uh, if you look at the frame right there, this is the problem. All this needs to be rewelded. It's been reinforced with some tube frame underneath, but it needs to be it needs to have be put up on the lift, and it needs to have some time spent doing the welds to fix the frame. And actually, so here's a really cool thing: a lot of guys are looking for these vehicles so they can put them on S10 frames. This would be a perfect candidate for that because the body is in great shape. It's very, very minimal rust. And with the frame being a little rusty, you get you an S10. Um, actually, I think you cut them down exactly four inches. They make a kit for it. Um, there's a Willys company. So this is, you can see like this amateur job kind of shoring up. So we really don't want to be driving this too much like it is. It needs to be repaired. But anyways, there's actually a kit you can buy you take the s10 frame you cut it four inches if you want to use a kit you can you don't have to it's not very expensive and then the thing is the rest of the vehicles here it's got the ev8 already it's got the automatic it's got the um it's got the power boost for the brakes it's got the good body it's got the nice windows i mean this is this is a you know of this is a s10 swap away from being an amazing you know driver and I say, like I said earlier too, and I've talked to a couple of my friends, it's also a weak project with a good welder. There's a spot right there. And, and fix that frame, shore it up, and drive it like it is. It really does drive very good. It, it does good at high speed. It's smooth. And uh, it's super cool looking everywhere you go in this thing. You can people are gonna want to be taking pictures with you. Um, so, anyways, I, if you can hear the regret in my voice on this one, it's genuine. I uh, drove all the way to Kentucky to get this, which I never go that far away to get vehicles. Um, and I just really wish I could keep it. I'd fix the glass, uh, fix the frame, and just drive it a lot. We we're looking for a, actually looking for a Willys for my daughter's coffee business uh she's roasting coffee and wanted to use the willies to do her deliveries and pickups and stuff and and I, that's what we really got it for and I, I really wish we could keep it but it's gonna have to find a new home 
and somebody's uh, somebody's gonna really really enjoy this is unique everybody's got a Ford or a Chevy these Willys are becoming more popular because they're unique just like Studebakers are becoming more popular um, Edsel's even and and you know people are starting to say hey how can I be unique at the car show and not just show up in another Ford or Chevy which I love Fords and Chevys I absolutely adore them I'm wearing my Camaro shirt right now and I drive a Mustang GT500 <laughs> so like I love Fords and Chevys but I also like being unique and this is a great way to affordably pull up at a car show you could put your logos on the side of this thing you could do all kinds of stuff to this and make it super fun you could put more seats in the back drive more people around um, yeah man I wish I could keep it but um, we know we know you're gonna love it so give us a call peachtreeclassiccars.com and we look forward to hearing from you